Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, what is the difference between a normal function and a generator function in Python? Let me answer. So what is the difference between a normal function and a generator function in Python? Okay, to understand the difference between this both, first let me explain few things about the normal function. Later, I'll show you how the generator function is different from a normal function, okay, to show the differences. First of all, this normal function, okay, contains a block of code, okay. Generally, you know that the normal function will be created with the def keyword and it contains a block of code inside it. When you call this function, when you call this normal function containing a block of code, all the code inside the function will be executed from start to end. Okay, at a go, all the code or block of code inside the function will be executed. And this function is going to return a value or a collection at a go. Okay, so only one time, only one time the result will be returned to the function calling statement by this normal function. But what about this? generator function okay generator function is a type of or a special type of function in python it's not a normal function guys it's a special type of function in python it also need to be created like a normal function using the def keyword but the main difference here is inside this generator function we'll use a keyword known as yield keyword Okay, inside the generator function, we use a keyword known as yield keyword. This yield keyword inside the normal function will convert this normal function into a generator function. Okay, if you have a function which has a yield keyword, because of having that yield keyword, that normal function will get converted into a generator function, guys. This generator function also has a block of code. This generator function also has a block of code like a normal function. But only the thing is, in generator function, we have this extra keyword known as yield, okay, which can, which is used inside this, uh, okay, block of code of this function. And not only this yield keyword is used, but it can be used multiple times, okay. We can use this yield keyword multiple times. We can specify yield, yield inside this uh, block of code of this function, or you can, you can write a for loop, okay, to iterate this yield keyword, okay, to use that multiple times. In a generator function, yield keyword will be there. And th this can be available multiple times also, okay? Not one specified, it can be specified multiple times. But here, in a normal function, whatever the value it, which will be written, right? The keyword, return keyword will be there, okay? We'll have a return keyword for returning the value of this particular function to the function calling statement. But here, return keyword is only used once because the result of this block of code will be returned to the function calling statement only once as a value or collection of values, but only at a time it will be it will be written, but here the generator function will return, okay, the values or values, okay, will return the values in a sequence, in a sequence case, okay, if there are uh, a collection of values to be returned in the normal function, it will return as a collection of values at a go, okay, in one time, but here the generator function will return these values in a sequence one at a time, only one at a time, guys, okay. How does this generator function can return the values in a sequence one at a time with the help of yield keyword, guys? Whenever the yield keyword comes, it will pass. Okay. Again, we need to request for next value. Then again, yield keyword will give you another value. If you want to know more about this generator function, I have been covering this generator function from the last three interview questions. Okay. You can refer them so that you'll get more idea before coming here and understanding the differences. Okay. Fine. So generator function returns a value in a sequence one at a time, guys. Okay, one at a time. That means the code will not be executed at a go. Here, when you run, uh, when the normal function is called, the block of code inside the normal fu function is executed from starting to ending at a go. But here, generator function will stop whenever the yield keyword encounters. Only one yield value will be returned. Okay, after returning again, next yield keyword is uh, okay. It will pass. It will pass the execution. And again, when you request another value, okay, here only one time you will call this function, but here you have to request the values one at a time, one at a time. Okay, sequence of values will be generated or produced by this generator function, but one at a time. Okay, 
So the block of code will not be executed at a go. go. Okay, the block of code inside this generator function will not be executed at a go. Rather, it will be it will pass, it will run and pass, run and pass. Whenever the yield keyword comes, it will run and pass. Okay, it will result you the generator object for every iteration kind of thing. Okay, fine. This how this what is the major difference between a normal function and generator function? Let me practically demonstrate. So that you'll get more idea what is a normal function and what is a generator function. After that practical demonstration, I'll give you a few more differences. Okay. These are the major differences, guys. Whatever I covered here. Here, normal function is a contains a block of code. When called, will be executed starting to end at a go, and it will return a value. If there are multiple values to be returned, it will return in the form of a, it will return a collection, collection of values, but at a time. It's not in a sequence or one at a time. Here, only one time it will return the result, okay, in the form of value or collection of values, okay. But coming to the generator, it can produce multiple values or single value, whatever it is, but one at a time, okay, in sequence, one at a time, it will produce. That means here the block of code will not be executed at a go, rather, it will be executed, it will pass and run, pass and run. Whenever you request it, it will run and it will pass. Again, when you request, the next value will be produced from the generator function. Okay. Like that kind of generator function. It is a special type of function, guys. Okay. Which uses a yield keyword. In normal function, we will not have the yield keyword. Okay. To request the values from this generator function, we have to use this uh, next uh, inbuilt function, guys. There is an uh, inbuilt function known as next, which we have to use. Okay. And there are other ways also. There are other ways also uh, for, you know, requesting the values from this uh, generator function. Fine. So let, let's go to the practical demonstration. First, I'll uh, write a normal function, how the normal function works, I'll show you. Here, I'll write uh, def sample is the name of the function. I'll say x, some parameter I'm creating, x parameter per. Uh, here, for example, this is a normal function, right? Uh, if this normal function has to return the values, let's say. So what I will do is I'll create an empty list here, okay? And here, I'll write a for loop for i in range of x, okay? For i in range of x, just understand this logic. This you see, this is a normal function containing a block of code. This I'm writing some sample block of code. I'll I'll explain this code for you anyhow. So here I'll say a dot append of a uh, a dot append of i. Okay, like this. Now here I'll say return at the end. I'll say return a. That's it. Now I'll be calling this function, guys. I'll be calling this function sample of phi. I'll be saying. So what happens when I call this function? The function will be called. The function will be this particular sample function will be called this value five will be assigned to the parameter. And here the list is initially empty. It's a list, right? A is a list containing no elements in it. Now this for loop will start for i in range of x means what? Five will go into x, five will come. Five for i in range of five, that means zero to four. Okay. Now i will be iterated here. For loop will be iterated for i values as zero to four, starting with zero. For when i is zero, a dot append of i means to this existing list uh, having no elements, zero will be added. Element zero will be added. And next iteration will happen where uh, one will be assigned to i and uh, I, uh, one will be appended to this uh, zero, uh, to this existing element zero. That zero, one will happen. Then uh, two, two will be appended, three will be appended, up to four, right? Four, four will be appended, okay? Like that. So this is what is a, okay? So at the end, right, uh, you are not returning a sequence of uh, values here one at a time. Rather, you are returning all the elements of this list at a go to the function calling statement. If I say print of sample here, it's a normal function, guys, normal function. Run this code, you'll get the list here. Okay. At a go, all the values got written to you. But if I want to receive these values, okay, in this function, from this function, I want to receive these elements one by one. I cannot use this normal function, guys. Rather, I have to use a generator for that. Okay, if I have to receive each and every element of this list uh, or any these uh, numbers one by one in a sequence manner, one at a time, if I want to receive, okay, this sign. So for that, I need to use a generator, guys. So here I'll just uh, add gen just to make a small difference, or you can remove this also. Even sample is also fine. That's okay. So only in this this. Uh, the generator function is uh, similar to the normal function, having that F keyword, you know, kind of same guys. There's no difference, but only one difference is inside this, we are going to use some keyword known as yield keyword. Okay. Yield keyword. So here there's no need of any list. And here I'll say simply say Y I E L D I. 
Okay, this is not required anymore. Like this. Depth sample of X for I in range of X yield I, I'll write. Okay, here I'll write down. Here, what I will do is I'll just simply call this function with the value 5, sample 5. Okay, and I'll store this into S. Here, you see, here the yield keyword is iterated here, right? That means how many times the e, 5 means what? Four five iterations. Five means five will go x, and for i in range of five means zero to four, that is five iterations. The for loop will iterate. For every iteration, the yield keyword will return you from this generator. The yield keyword will return you what? One value that is uh, initially yield zero will come. In the second iteration, yield one will come. Third iteration, yield two. Fourth iteration, yield uh, three. Fifth iteration, yield four. Like that, okay? Yield one, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, kind of thing. But does this generator function will give all these values at a go? No, it will not give. So we can, upon our requesting only, it will generate. Okay. It has a capability of generating the sequence of values one at a time from zero to four guys. Okay. Yield zero to yield four, right? So zero to four, it can, it has a capability of generating or producing the values from zero to four in a sequential manner, one at a time, only when you request, if you don't request, it will not give you. If I simply run this, it will not, nothing will happen. You, even though you're calling a function, nothing is happening. Okay. So what we have to do here is I have to say print off next off. Yes. I have to say when I'm requesting first yield value will be returned. Okay. Will be returned to this uh, next inbuilt function here. Okay. That is yield zero will be returned. Zero will be printed in the output. You see one at a time, only one element at a time will be returned. Again, if I call this for second time, if I call this a print off next off is one will be returned, zero, one. Again, if I call it, two will be returned. Again, if I call it, three will be returned. Again, if I call it, four will be returned. Zero, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, you cannot call it more times because zero to four is a range, right? Zero to four is a range. If you try to call it more than uh, required times, you'll get an error here, okay? Stop, it. iteration has been stopped. You see, you can understand clearly all the differences I already covered here. That is normal function will have a block of code. Generator function also will have a block of code. Okay. But here normal function when called or executed will be executed from starting to ending at a go. But here generator function will not be executing at a go. Rather it will be executing and passing, executing and passing. Okay. Like that. Whenever the yield keyword encounters, it will stop. Okay. Kind of. First yield, will, yield keyword will result a value. After that, it will pass. Then again, when you request it, again, it will encounter another yield keyword. It will return some value and it will pass like that. Okay. As good and pass kind of thing. But here starting to ending at a go. And here in normal function, we will not have the yield keyword. Okay. Whereas gender function also looks like a normal function having the ref keyword and similar to the function. But it the difference is it will contain a yield keyword. If a normal function, if a function contains a yield keyword, that function is a special type of function known as a generator function in simple words. Okay. And here yield keyword can be written multiple times inside this generator function. And here the result, the result of this executed block of code, if it has to be returned to the function calling statement will be resulted or written only one time. Either a single value will be returned or a collection of values, as I showed you in the practical demonstration, can be returned, but only one time. But here, generator will generate a sequence of values one at a time. When you request it, only it will generate it. If you don't request it, not generate. For example, even though this particular generator function has a capability of uh, generating five values, but uh, you are you are asking only three times. Only the number of times you ask only will be generated again. You see, instead of zero to for only zero, one, two will come like that. Okay. But function is not like that. All the values. Okay. All the values will be uh, resulted. Okay. At a go at one time. Okay. Here sequence of things one at a time and that too only when requested. These are the major differences guys between a normal function and a generator. But now let's move on to the uh, few other additional differences between a normal function and a generator. So coming to the normal function uh, and I generated difference, other differences still here, I completed guys. Okay. Uh, this one also is completed. Generator function is only executed as values are requested, whereas the function will give you, when you call it, it will give you all, everything. Okay. It will not, uh, you don't have to request for each and every value there in normal function. And uh, the other uh, last difference between, uh, you know, last uh, two differences between this uh, normal function and generator is 
coming to memory guys, better utilization of memory, that is less memory will be utilized here. Why? Because only when you are requesting that particular value is uh, stored into the memory and resulted to you. So it don't have to store a lot of things into the memory. Okay, less memory in case of uh, less memory is required in case of generator function. But here, more memory. All the values should be stored, right? All the collection of values that need to be resulted to the function calling statement. Uh, so more memory is required, whereas less memory is here, okay? And here, performance-wise, very efficient, okay? Performance, performance, efficiency is high. Why? Because why performance efficiency is high? You see, it don't have to generate all the things at a go. All the values need not be returned at a go. Rather, sequence of values one at a time. When you requests are coming, that means automatically the program will not take, will not uh, you know uh, utilize a lot of performance. Okay, it will be performance efficient. But here, all the, for example, you are requesting uh, thousand values here. All thousand values will be resulted to you at a go, one time itself. That means performance wise, it is not efficient. Okay, here performance wise efficient because. Even though the thousand values, whenever you are requesting only the value is coming, that means single value. If a program is running with a single value, means uh, it will not take a lot of perform, uh, like it will not degrade any performance of the system, right? So performance efficiency is high here, performance efficiency is low. Performance efficiency is low when compared to generators. Okay. So these are the differences between a normal function and generator in Python, guys. So hope, guys, you got. The answer for okay, a detailed and uh, you know, uh, kind of very descriptive answer for this question that is, what is the difference between normal function and generator function in Python? So, that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another Python interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.